Yo, yo, no, your average Joe. We're off to the Peak District. Gonna take you on a couple of little adventures. Um, yeah, got Big T. Gonna go pick up Superman, and uh, yeah, we'll show you where we're going. Show you some places. <laughs> Not far from Burbage Edge. Gonna see if we can get ourselves down towards Stanage. Have a wander around Hathersage. See where we end up. Don't really have any other plans. So coming through the first field where we parked up. Down there we've got Paddley Gorge area just over those hills. Mother Camp over Alator. Coming up on Higgator. We're aiming in that direction for Carl's Walk. Get ourselves over the other side of Higger. Head over towards Stanage approach. Weeby time! Blueberries. We could literally easily survive out here. over this side, pulling up parallel with Higgator over there. Fiddler's elbow coming down towards uh, Burbage Bridge. Burbage Rock's up to the right. Sat down up at Burbage. First leg done. First proper view of Stanage Edge. Six mile long cliff, best climbing and hill walking in the UK in my opinion. Car head rocks down there. Have a over the hill. We'll have a nosy in at Robin Hood's cave. Lots of climbers out today. This is the best climbing in the UK in my opinion. For short single pitches, a bit top roping if you're in a small group with newbies. But yeah, all you can see is just climbers about the place. Good on them. We'll bring the ropes down next time, do a little climbing trip, I think. You're up for a bit of climbing next time, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Heading downwards. Go find a little cave retreat. Have a break. It all collapsed in about four or five years ago. Oh, great. No, you can still get through. There's loads of people used to come and uh, camp in here, used to bivy in here. You'll see that like there's loads of little fire pits where people have had fires. But yeah, all of this was enclosed and it all collapsed. It's a great little bivy spot. All of the climbers used to come and uh, set up the bivy bags. Literally just wrap yourself wrap yourself in a survival blanket if you get caught short. Does the job in this cave. Oh. But there's a bit of a drop here. Yeah. So you can either do the leap of faith over to the balcony or... You can sneak through the cave. Should we go through the cave, lads? Oh, no, there's a big crack in the pocket, so you didn't. Go on. We have even had that key up. You go through first. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. It's a bit wet. Plantation now, brilliant bouldering. Come 
Chronicles. Ah, I love you, man. So, we have finally decided we're going that way. We don't know what's over there. The end of Stanage, on the high road, and then, uh, yeah, see where we end up. I have a feeling we're probably going to end up kind of Lady Bar area if we make the distance. And, but we do have to get back, so keep you updated. Bye bye. So, got a bit further away, orientated ourselves a bit just far. Near uh, Crouching. Ah, falling over a load of brush there. Heading down uh, over one of the moors. Can't remember which one. Moscar Moor. The path all the way over the field. Yeah. Straight to where we need to be. Straight to, well, yeah, exactly. Exactly. But yeah, this is going to be a long stretch. See you when we find something more interesting. <laughs> I didn't pick this route. <laughs> we'll actually eat ankles. <laughs> is that a fish? <laughs> oh my God, this is the worst bit. <laughs> Rick's really not happy. <laughs> We're definitely a bit wet. This here I should have learned after last time. Trying to get us back on track. Yeah. Where's the fucking path, Joe? There oh. is no path. There, there, there is no path. No. There's just more fucking field. We have semi-high ground though, so... We just have fucking another hill. Right, we get to... We can't have a break now. <laughs> We've got to keep on walking. Oh, well, we absolutely bollocks that, lads, didn't we? We're, uh... Who two did? <laughs> Heading west. West over Bamford Moor at the moment. Definitely not on a footpath, being very, very naughty. Trying to get ourselves back to somewhere we know. Um, maps lie, apparently, when it rains. The only path we had had turned into a damn river, so... It was not the only path! It was. No, it was not. <laughs> it's the only path without, like, a... An eight-mile detour. Oh, it was not eight miles. There was pussy hole. There was safe routes. <sighs> Definitely were. There was no idea. I'm bringing my protest out here. There was no idea. <laughs> <gasps> Gorgeous view of the whole of Stanage from our naughty little route though. And we're just good to keep on fucking walking. Get back to the path. Any path. Any path. <laughs> Reservoir down there with the aqueduct, viaduct, sorry. Yeah, boy. Tomash going insta famous. I think that's Wynn Hill over in the distance. Lady oh, Bower. <laughs> Nip Hill, the nipple. Would you know it? Just over the ridge. We've got a path coming up. And we found Lady Bower. Path time. Yeah, boy. How happy are you that you found a path? I'm on a path. We're literally going to start heading straight for the Titi Mountain again. Circling around the edge of Bamford Moor, getting a little bit steep and technical. We're going to head down towards Lady Bower. Titi Mountain! Titi Mountain! Lady Bower's the reservoir, you think? Um, but yeah, then we're going to head up Wind Hill. Titi Mountain. This is fun, though. Right, phone's going away. Bye. Found some awesome trees. Break time at the hole in the wall. So 
We're heading down from Lady Bower to uh, Yorkshire Bridge, crossing over for parking club. Heading up there, up Wind Hill, the Nipple Mountain. So it's gone from finding paths to finding bridges now. I want to go under the damn bridge. Yorkshire Bridge. This, this is Wind Hill for the winners. What's your sign saying? It's that way to Lady Bower and it's that way to Chaton. <laughs> so we should be coming up to uh, Parkin Perkin Clough. The gate's open. Heading up the wind hill steps now. This, after a day of getting lost, this is a workout. <sighs> Break time, we're about, I don't know, halfway, two thirds of the hill up wind hill. Keep getting passed by the same fell runner. He's absolutely putting us to shame. And I'm on about half the weight that I'd normally have. We need to slow down. We do need to slow down a bit. We have about three quarters of the lads. Three, three quarters of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Three quarters from the top, maybe. Oh, I need to pick up hard. some water from the uh, from the brook at some point. Whew. Yeah, let's get some water in me now. This is getting steep, lads. camp Up. I would head over there yeah, on that flat let's get over there see what it looks like flat it's on a fucking 45 degree angle that that's the one there, right there right there yeah on the go really losing the light Thomas is laughing at me because I'm talking to the camera no, it's okay. It's okay. He, he loves my videos he makes me do this sliding down i'm fucking knackered knackered i'm fucking knackered like he just he just can fuck himself he, can, <laughs> he has a super look at him he has a superpower he can just fucking no, he's got a lower in the night sleep he's got a lower anywhere it's amazing <laughs> Clough. I need to grab some water because these two drank it all. Ugh. And then we need to find our way back to the car. 
hopefully not just retracing our steps from yesterday because that'd be a bit boring um so yeah get to the bottom get some water make some coffee and then pull the maps out figure out where we're going lads <laughs> So, coming on to the Thornhill Trail. Decent little stretch, roughly in the right direction. Um, never been down here, don't quite know where it goes, but you know. Exciting. We've got 180 degree kind of range to head in. Ideally through no more swamps. We have already found one more this morning. Thomas wants to go have a sage and get the train to Grindleford, which is closer to the car. Heading down from Thornhill towards River Derwent. Follow the path back down towards Hathersage, and then uh, that's my patch. I know where we are then. having that on your back garden. How gorgeous is that? to get to where we need to go. Well, I thought it'd be good to know if you wanted to do it before I told you that we had to do it. Come on! Don't wait, wait, Gretchen, wait, 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 wait. So you're gonna get to the very end and look at the last part. There's a huge gap in between them. Thomas, this one's literally a footpath. To be fair, there is a huge foot. Do you know what, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> come on. Oh, no! <laughs> Let's go find that cheap. Spanish just creeping into view beyond those trees. Doesn't have the sage up ahead. We are not far from civilization. Oh. <laughs> so Rick's in the toilets. There's a queue forming like halfway around Hathersage for the toilets. Everyone's too scared to use them because of 
how long Rick's been in there. I'm worried, like, what is he doing, mate? What? He fell asleep. <laughs> mate, mate. Let's see if we can uh, cut off a bit of time on this footpath. all the way over here to check out this awesome purple fungi and it's a hair bobble. Now, Ooh. over our tour up ahead, the boys. Choices, man. This one, we'll follow the fence up. And we just got back to Surprise View Car Park. Must be getting pretty close now. We've got Burbage popping up over there now. And we went too far from there. Backtrack a little bit from where we are on, on these rocks. Toad's Mouth, I think this is called. Start of the, uh, the Burbage Valley. Burbage South. Continuing Burbage Rocks. I think. I'm not 100% sure on the view from here. Correct me. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, we're going to head down to uh, that bridge down there. Follow the footpath and hopefully find a car. We've got some dramatic clouds coming in. I think we might have a bit of rain in a sec. Rick said he got dropped on. archway on top where we had our coffee break last year. That's where we parked. So up to the path that joins us on and we should be back at camp. 